Welcome back everybody. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad and today I'm going to start working on getting the new mount for the new bilge pump made and uh, replace this um, completely worn out old bilge pump and mounting bracket. Now I was going to make this out of aluminum. Uh, that was the plan, but I couldn't uh, source a thick enough piece of aluminum to be as sturdy as what a piece of galvanized steel is. I take that back. I could source a thick enough piece, but bending it, bending a thicker piece of aluminum weakens the weakens the aluminum. And I just want to make sure that there's no brittleness involved uh, for vibration to cause the bilge pump just to fall off its mount. So I decided to go with uh, the same gauge um, galvanized steel. I've got a plate here that's 18 inches long and or I'm sorry, it's yeah, 18 inches long and 12 inches wide. So I'm going to bend this straight. I'm actually just gonna take this part off. I saved it, but I've got the measurement um, that I, so I know exactly um, how wide that, that base mount needs to be. So uh, I'm gonna bend the top flange straight, lay out the pattern on this new piece here, and then cut it out. Okay, I'm gonna take my uh, welding pliers here and just bend this flange back straight. Make sure it's as flat as I can. It doesn't have to be exact. The new piece doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I want it to be fairly close. This bottom piece here, this is probably just going to break off. Yeah, well, maybe not. But from this bend here, I need an additional five inches. So we'll just set this right here. And from that bend, we'll just go an additional five inches down. inches I have a little bit of a missing chunk right here, but that's not that big of a deal. It's not a big deal at all, honestly. The uh, mark the bend. up my ruler and I probably should mark the bend up here as well all right so that is the going to be the new mount. Um, I'm not concerned about this corner being miss, missing here. Um, I wanted to stay in the section of 
this piece of galvanized steel that has not started to corrode. It was uh, sitting on the shelf at uh, Ace Hardware and you can see the corrosion's already started over here. So I just need this much. So we'll get that part cut out and bend it into uh, a new mounting bracket. My new bilge pump is an Oasis Marine 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump. It's an exact replacement for what was in there. Um, the one that was in there was a uh, an older rule model, uh, but this one has really good reviews. So I picked it up uh, basically because it's the exact same shape and mount that the one that was, as the one that was in there. So I need to get this grossness cleaned off of here. And I guess go get my tin snips. Okay, I've got some uh, various tin snips here, right cut, left cut, and a straight cut. I'm gonna start with the straight cut. I think these will work okay. I really don't have any idea how well they're going to do. I know the, the other ones are Wiss snips and they're much better. Let's start with these. This is why I've got gloves. I knew there was going to be some sharp edges and barbs and. flat straight piece for the most part. We'll bend it a little bit more as we need to. But I'm gonna get the uh, get this on the grinder, clean up the sharp edges, and then I'll bend it the rest of the way. Got the uh, bench grinder set up. I don't normally keep it here. I just clamp it onto the bench when I need it. Get our protection on. And we'll remove some burrs. Okay, so I got the grinding part done. I'm just gonna take a couple of fine files here and just make sure I've got all the sharp edges taken care of. take the welding pliers and just make sure we've got a nice straight piece.
All right, now I think I'm gonna use the vise to do the bends. Before I put this in the vise, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes um, just because they'll be easier to, or easier to drill on a flat piece than they will be on a bent piece. I am gonna have to drill the base of the, of the uh, bilge pump after I bend it because I gotta make sure it's positioned correctly, but that should be fairly easy to do. But these will be easier without, uh, without it being bent. Okay, pilot hole. And then the 3 16 hole. I'm gonna get a bigger drill bit and deburr these holes, but I'll put it in the vise and get it bent. Okay, got the holes deburred, nice and smooth. Get this in the vise here, right on that line. And then just bend it over. Nice 90 degree bend. Now this one, uh, my vise isn't quite deep enough, so I think I can get the bend started. So we'll do a, maybe do a combination here. There's our piece. Base for the uh, bilge pump to mount on. Top flange bent to mount inside the bilge. Everything looks nice and straight. Okay, on to the bilge pump mounting. The bilge pump has a removable base, just with these little tabs here, one on either side. Pops right off. Set the bilge pump aside. So the base has uh, three mounting holes. And if I get it, orientated like it's supposed to. It mounts this way with the lower um, of, the, of the float on the inside. So if you imagine this sitting in the in the bilge, the, the boat V is right where this is, the float. So that'll be down at the lowest point and then the outlet shoots water out through the hull. So that means the mount has to go this way. And it doesn't have to be exact. Just wherever it looks good, I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. I've got three dots to make. Those are the holes I need to drill. So we'll go back to the pilot bit. And I'm not gonna drill this full size yet. I need to figure out what size uh, bolts I'm gonna do this with. So let me figure that out and I'll come back and drill the rest. Okay, I've always got a, a variety of hardware sitting on hand. Uh, I can't tell you how many times, how many times this jar of washers has been dumped to find what I need, but very rarely do I need to make a run to the hardware store to get what I need. So I've got uh, 3 16 inch screws here um, with uh, some nuts and a couple of different uh, star washers that will keep this in place. I've got the holes drilled out to 3 16 I did drill out the the plastic holes to 3 16 as well. They were, they're probably metric, would be my guess, but. Okay, screws are in. And we'll go 
star washer and a nut. And I'll need to get the correct size socket, which will be uh, 3 8 Okay. And we'll take the bilge pump. Plug it back in place. There we go. That's uh, the new mounting bracket for the bilge pump, the aft bilge pump, the primary main bilge pump on Clifford. So now I'll take it back up to the boat and get it reinstalled. Today is uh, reinstalling the bilge pump in the engine compartment. Got my buddy Kevin here. He's over there. <laughs> he was the guy that was in the bilge last time to pull the old one out. And uh, for whatever strange reason, he has agreed to go back down there to put the new one in. So wish me luck. Yeah, this will be fun, I'm sure. There's no way that that's going to fit there, Chad. Why? Because that hose, the, the, the hose where the hose fits in, you almost should have a 90 on there. Oh, yeah, so the hose. Because I'm on the screw holes right now. Yeah. And then the hose isn't going to make that turn, is it? Nope. Is it right up against the, the wall? There's a little bit of room there. I can't. I can't see it. I'm trying to look through video. Um, let me. It's the same. It, it's the same exact pump that was in there before. I hate to tell you this, but you know what? It fit better back here, <clears throat> and there's enough holes to reach it. Yeah. Can we screw it in one hole over? That's what I'm thinking. And then I can come back and drill another hole for the other screw. I have a drill in my truck. Okay. So we can get her done. We just need to know what size we need. You can remember. The screws are right here, so. And they're probably eight, I would say. And there's a hole right there. And now we're far enough back. Yeah. And we're actually a little bit deeper in the bilge. Okay. Which is better. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, give me a screw. All right. All right. Screw. Let's see how many times I lose this. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Man, I got you a little stubby screwdriver here. Hopefully, better control. There goes the light. Please work with me here. Will a longer screwdriver be easier? Or is it, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> I do have. Uh, if you got a longer one, that'd be better. Yeah. Actually, give me that nut driver. not going to tighten this all the way yet. Okay. It's going to bring it close. Then we're going to swing it over. Drill yeah. our hole. Okay. Sounds good. You coming out or you want me to go get it? Uh, my key fob's on my other pocket <laughs> down, down on the bottom. <laughs> so I guess I'm coming out. All right. At least I'm uh, sticking my head up. So this is how you get down in the bilge. And Kevin is uh, Kevin is skilled at doing this type of thing. Being a, uh, a farmer, he's got lots of equipment. He has to get in weird ass places sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to say the least. All right, whenever you're ready. 
Yep. All right, drill up a new hole. Okay, screw. those after that's in there. Yeah, I can get it. I just gotta move a few times. Oh, and you're gonna need the nut driver again. Once I get a little snug, then I'll be able to turn it up. Right. I want it. Does that work just fine? Okay. So we just use the... Uh, or clip here, whatever you want to call this thing, to hold that hose clamp in a fairly close position to get it tight. Now it's going back in. Okay. And there's plenty of clearance between the belt and the hose? Absolutely. Okay. There's piles. There is no belt down there. I just, well, I just meant the serpentine belt. I didn't know how low. No, serpentine belt, lowest point is right here. Okay. So we're way above it. Oh, gotcha. I see it on the video now. Yep. Okay. So now we wire. I'd leave them. I wouldn't. No zip ties at all? If anything, I'd put a zip tie maybe um, one to the fuel fill line. Okay. And that'd be it. Okay. I can do that from up here. Yep. I would not put anything down there. I'd leave it. Okay. So the... Uh, uh, the pump is back secure on its base right now? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're tight. Okay. We're tight to the plate. Like right. we're supposed to be. Very good. Now it's time to wire. Okay, let me get that picture. All right, well, Kevin and I both took our own turns getting down in there. Kevin was down there much more than I was, but we got the wires. Got the wires uh, zip tied to the fuel lines there and connect it in place and it works with the switch on the pump itself and I think if we hit that switch up there they'll probably turn it on too. Where's the switch? Uh, I think it's on the left side of the left panel. Build pump. Yep. All right, success. Woohoo! All right, so thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a nasty job, but uh, as you see, it's it is doable. Everything's doable. Sometimes it just hurts. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. We might be on the water on the next video. Happy boating, everybody.